Hi and welcome to Ditton Works YouTube channel. Today I'm really pleased to get back to my favourite brand of speakers, Celestium. And what we have here is a pair of DL4 Series 2s. These do differ slightly from the Series 1s. These have the later titanium metal dome tweeter and a slightly different base driver with the surround is outwardly rolled rather than inwardly rolled on the uh, earlier one. Interesting fact about this um, chassis is when the DL4 Series 1 was first released for, for reviewing to the Hi-Fi press, they actually wrote that this was a cast chassis. And what it actually is, is a pressed steel chassis, uh, pressed in-house at Celestian's factory in Foxall Road, just down the road from me. And that really just is giving credit to the, the quality of work that Celestian were doing at the time. Um, these were designed by Bob Smith, and anybody who's a Celestian fan will know the name Bob Smith. True golden ears, genius, done loads of crossover work, tweeter development, driver development. He done the Series 2 DL4s, and I'm 100% sure that's why these sound so good. Now these are in the entry level, so there's the DL4, the DL6, the DL8, the DL10 and the DL12. They all fell into the sort of lower category than what was Celestian's flagship model, the SL series. Um, the Series 2 was obviously a revision and some improvements were made, particularly on the internals. Now while I'm mentioning that, this one actually has a rattle and I suspect I know what that is. So I'm going to take that apart. Have a look inside and see if we can find out why this speaker has got a bit of a rattle before we give them a demo okay so investigating the rattle and done the screws on the rear terminal plate if you notice the little mod i do is to fit these so you can put banana plugs straight in rather than the original celestian ones i didn't have the holes so you'd have to put the bare wires or the banana plugs up through here in the binding post that little mod makes things a lot easier so this is what the rattle is I have already picked it off. The hot glue has just deteriorated and basically means that this inductor can rattle around. I'll just wait for the heat, hot glue gun to heat up and then we'll glue that back into place and I'll just put a little bit extra on here. So you can have a look, just a couple of caps, resistor, nothing too complicated. Obviously these were built at a cost, but they certainly don't sound like they were. Rattle gone, everything's okay. Just a little bit of hot glue sorted that out. Now, on my Facebook page, oh, maybe a year ago, I did a review on the Celestian 3s, which are a fantastic little pair of speakers. They were designed by a guy called Martin Roberts, who regularly comments on the Celestian Facebook page. Brilliant guy. Very clever speaker designer as well. Now, the 3s and the 5s, both, by, both done by him, came after the DL series. And I have to say that slightly more modern forward sounding speaker probably appeals to a wider audience than perhaps the DL4 does but I'm actually going to use the same track that I tested the threes with and um, so if anybody's interested you're more than welcome to go onto my Facebook page Ditton Works and have a troll back through the videos and see if you can find the review on the Celestian threes. Let's have a listen. So apparently take five is not allowed to be played on YouTube. Um, so I'm gonna to have to re-edit the clip and uh, put it back out there. Um, to describe the sound with that particular track was really nice imaging, very nice detail from the HF. Bass was very good, um, typical infinite baffle. So it wasn't enormously loud bass, but it was very deep and very controlled. So uh, sorry for this little interlude, but when I uploaded the video, it got blocked. So I'm gonna slip this clip in between and then go back to the original clip. They sound really pleasant. You could listen to these for hours and hours and hours. What a great little pair of speakers. Uh, infinite baffle, sealed enclosure, so they don't have an enormous amount of bass, but the bass is very tight and controlled when it is there. Um, for a metal dome tweeter, they're not harsh, bright in any way, shape, form or fashion. Typical Bob Smith, he's designed a fantastic sounding pair of speakers. Now, like I said, if you wanted something a bit more modern sounding, probably the Celestian 5 would be the one to go for. It's similarly designed speaker, the, the HF's the same, the bass driver is similar, but it's just taken up a notch and they do sound a little bit warmer, a little bit nicer, a little bit more Ford presented. But for a budget pair of speakers, even in their day, these were a budget pair of speakers in the Celestian line, 
but today you can pick these up for next to nothing. To give you an indication of that, I bought these with the stands locally from a lady who used to work at Celestian, funnily enough, in the office for £30. So I would strongly recommend anybody who's looking for a cheap pair of speakers that will really do the do's. It's got to be DL4s. Fives are a little bit better, but they do hold their money a little bit more. And there's two versions of the Celestian 5. There's a rear ported and there's a sealed version. At some point, I'd like to get hold of both and do an AB comparison between the two. I haven't had a pair of fives for a long time, but when I did have a pair of fives, I used them in the second system for, for, for ages and ages. They were great. The threes that I reviewed, they got sold on to a friend of mine. He wanted them for a second system. And they were just great. They were absolutely great. On this track, they had a little bit more low end and they imaged just a little bit better. And that's quite impressive considering the threes are a lot smaller than the DL4s. The fives are closer in size, but they're all very good. The three, the four, and the five. So the Celestian three, the DL4, and the Celestian five. All strong recommendations. Absolutely fantastic sound and pair of speakers that you can pick up for next to nothing these days. Anyway, that's the Dip and Works review for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care, guys. I'll speak to you soon.